2013-14 Gleesman World Cup two-man bobsled season. It was Stephen Holcomb. He won five times on the tour. He walked away with the World Cup title. In women's bobsled, Kaylee Humphreys, as expected, dominated the tour. She's the world champion from the last year. She's the Olympic champion. And here in 2013-14, she barely wins by one point over Alana Myers. It came down to the last heat of the competition in Koenigsee. But Kaylee Humphreys and Heather Moist walk away with the World Cup title. In men's skeleton, it was Superman. Martins Dukars dominated the tour as expected, but the big story, the triple trophy. Dukars had to win six straight runs in St. Moritz, in Eagles, and in Koenigsee. And what does he do on the final run racing for the 100,000 euro triple trophy? He sets the track record. And with that track record, he gets the 100,000 euro prize. He also gets the European Championship title. He gets the World Cup season title. What a year for the guy they call Superman, Martin Stukars. What a battle between two athletes on the women's skeleton tour, Elizabeth Yarnold and the Noelle Blankis Pace went head to head for the whole season. Only those two athletes were atop of the leaderboard winning any one of the eight races. But in the end, Elizabeth Yarnold of Great Britain, she wins the World Cup title in 2013-14. What a season for this young British athlete. The World Cup season title holder for four-man bobsled goes to Max Arndt of Germany. He was the most consistent driver through all of the eight Beastman World Cup four-man events. Max Arndt of Germany wins narrowly over Steve Holcomb of the United States. A great season for this young German pilot. Stephen Holcomb of the United States, he won the two-man World Cup title. He was second in the four-man World Cup points. That means he's the combined overall champion total points from two and four. If Holcomb didn't crash in Winterberg, Germany, he would have had the trifecta winning all of them. What a season for team Stephen Holcomb of the United States.